she, is that G or she? Gilbert, in recognition of the many years of outstanding leadership and continuing support during war and peace. And God bless you, sir. That's to you and your lovely lady, Marjorie. Dakota 
went up in a balloon to about uh, 80,000 feet on some uh, high altitude testing. The balloon burst, and uh, those two men were lucky to bail out. Uh, in that tumbling balloon, got out somewhere on 15 or 20,000 feet. And after that uh, balloon career of General Kepner's, and he got into heavier than air aircraft, and then into fighters, and uh, he eventually, uh, in the Pentagon, after a tour in the Pentagon in the planning department, ended up uh, commanding the fighter command over in uh, England when it was a part of the 8th Air Force. It was later dissolved, and the fighters were assigned, subdivided out to the three divisions. And that's when General Kepner took command of the 2nd Air Division. But I'm, uh, I'm getting to the point <coughs> At that uh, Orlando reunion, when General Kepner <laughs> was giving, uh, giving the, uh, the background of his Pentagon career and all the high-level decisions that were made, uh, his remarks uh, uh, got extended a bit. The band was already sitting over there, a nice big band, and every little bit uh, the band would uh, check the tuning of their instruments. And uh, his audience, about 2,000 strong, started to shuffle their feet <laughs> and uh, look around. And uh, finally, it uh, got to the point where uh, General Kepner noticed it, that he was, uh, you might say, starting to lose his audience. And uh, he finally uh, uh, abruptly said, uh, I've, uh, I've talked long enough, and I'm going to sit down. But uh, to carry on the last part of the story, and uh, clock me on this about three minutes, uh, Bob. <laughs> General Kempner, after he took command of the 2nd Air Division following General Hodges, shortly after he took command, Air Force out of the Pentagon sent an Air Force inspection team over there, headed by a three-star General, Lieutenant General Julius W. Jones. He was known by his uh, peers, contemporaries, uh, Jingle Willie Jones. <laughs> uh, he dated way back to the early 20s, uh, a lot of seniority, as much, maybe more, than uh, General Kepner, and he was wearing three stars. General Kepner was only wearing two stars, but uh, the Pentagon sent the uh, Air Force inspection team over there to inspect uh, three bomb groups, one in each division, one in the uh, B-17 First Division, one in the B-17 3rd Division, and one in the uh, B-24 2nd uh, uh, Division. The uh, 8th Air Force down in uh, uh, Bomber Command in uh, London uh, shrewdly picked out what they thought were the sharpest groups in each division, so naturally they chose uh, the 392nd to be the inspected uh, group for this team to come over team of eight or nine officers and spent four or five days with us. And they went through us with a fine tooth comb, those of you who were there. And at the end of this five day inspection trip, those people prowling around and checking records and so on, there was a critique in the uh, operations room where about 20 or 25 of us uh, gathered there, uh, the uh, 392nd staff, some meet, uh, 2nd Air Division staff were there. And uh, Jingle, uh, not Jingle, well, uh, General Jones uh, and his staff <laughs> were there with about nine officers. Uh, Jing uh, General Jones <laughs> called on his staff officers in turn to render their reports on what they found uh, as they penetrated each of our divisions. And uh, some of them were not particularly complimentary. We we're in the midst of fighting war over there. And those people out of the Pentagon with some uh, pretty plush jobs, uh, we thought were sort of nitpickers. But at any rate, uh, when they uh, finished their report, and uh, General Jones uh, uh, listened to it intently, and uh, one of the reports that he seized upon was uh, the fact that our life rafts in that uh, 392nd bomb group uh, were six months overdue for inspection. They had not been checked. The uh, inflation bottles had not been checked. and uh, Therefore, uh, no one was really sure whether those things would inflate or not if we ditched the B-24 in the planning. 
other lesser things, leaned back in his chair and said uh, to the assembled group, this is a very serious matter. And General Kepner was sitting there right nearby. This is a serious matter. These are operational deficiencies that uh, we cannot tolerate. And therefore, I'm recommending to the Pentagon that uh, this group be grounded for an indefinite period until these deficiencies are corrected. Uh, there was maybe a 10 or 15 second uh, silence there. Uh, we shuffled our feet. And then now here's where General Kepner became a prince. General Kepner leaned back. And he said, uh, looking to General Jones, he said, General, you're gonna do no such damn thing. <laughs> Then a real hush settled over that group, and uh, the two generals glared at each other, a three-star general and a two-star general, and uh, General Jones erupted a little bit, and uh, finally he said, uh, maybe we should adjourn the rest of these people, and we sit down and talk this over. <laughs> we adjourned, they talked it over, and we never heard another word about <laughs> level in our opinion way up and he hit the gong at the 10 level as far as the 392nd was concerned. Joe, wouldn't you agree with that uh, assessment of the general captain? He was a leader. I just want to comment that uh, as you all know that this has been one of the finest reunions if not the finest we've had. Certainly the biggest. The last head count I heard was the neighborhood of 260. I don't believe we've ever had that many before at a reunion. The highest figure that I can recall was Tulsa. Uh, I think we uh, quit at about 235 or so at uh, Tulsa, our first uh, standalone reunion. But uh, this thing keeps uh, getting bigger and better, and so many thanks to the, the organizers, beginning with their, <coughs> their leader, Mr. 392nd, uh, Bob Vickers, and his team. Uh, if any of you think running a reunion is easy, try to keep up with uh, Bob Vickers and uh, and Charlie Dye. Charlie Dye is limping a little bit, I can see since I started. But uh, it was a masterful effort, and all of us here appreciate it, uh, Bob. Thank you so much.